So the inspiration for pressing on happened when I received an iron that was my mom's after she passed. Somehow when I handled it, I had the impression that it would be a good match for this book by Hannah Moore. The irons as an artifact were very representative to me of women's labor and servitude over the years. And Hannah Moore's relationship with not only encouraging women to better themselves and to be literate, but also her actions against slavery her entire life all fed into this very powerful message that was the inspiration. Every Iron incorporated some of her book, and so that's the cohesiveness that pulls the whole series together. Every bit of paper on each iron is from her book. I started collecting one by one irons and working with different materials. Although the irons are the vehicle for the exploration that I'm doing, the materials themselves are what fuels the work. And I sit down with an iron and I guess I get a sense of how I want to proceed and how I want to explore this artifact and illuminate its existence. I've woven the paper. I'm combining it with lace and textiles and linen thread, binding thread, and most often that, that scorched. Then I worked with fur and tacks, you know, so there would be a contrast. I'm really interested in, you know, the hard versus the soft, the gentle versus the harsh, and sort of being pulled in by the sensuousness of the fur, but then repelled by, you know, a rusty old iron. Each one sort of led me to doing the next one. It was very much a process of exploring the materials relating to the artifact, combining materials with it, and each one fed the next one into the world. I now have 114 that I've done over a couple of years. There's the issue of who was doing the ironing, who was doing pressing for wealthy homeowners, and that would have probably been slaves and servants. The labor involved and the arduous life that women had and the limited choices that they had, I think that all speaks to this series. They work really wonderfully as standalone pieces, but they also work beautifully in groups and large numbers. So after having done a sizable installation, it came to me that I would like to document this series. And I collaborated with my son. We produced a limited edition book about this series. And they were shot so that the scale of the irons was evident. The book is just another way of, for me to put the work out into the world and, and share it.